Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dan Born here. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done any kind of videos or any kind of streaming of that sort, but I am here today to talk about my channel and my YouTube channel direction for 2020. You can see my illustrious notes up on the screen here. Um, I'm going to try and make this quick. I don't want to uh, belabor things very much. Uh, I've had kind of a challenge trying to figure out what I want to do with my channel going forward. I am a Linux lover, I am a technology lover, but there's a lot of different things that I like to talk about. Uh, you can pretty much get me talking about anything. Uh, so I spent quite a bit of time over the last few months while being extremely busy with work and family and things like that, just trying to consider what do I want to do with this YouTube channel? What do I want the purpose of this YouTube channel, YouTube channel to be? And I've come to the conclusion that I really just want it to be for um, just getting my thoughts out there. Like, I'm not looking to monetize anything right now. I'm not, like, trying to make money or extra money or anything like that off of this YouTube channel. All of the hardware and stuff that I buy that I play around with on here is all for my own, you know, for my own tinkering. I'm not asking anybody for anything. I don't plan on doing any kind of like patron stuff or anything like that. It's basically just an outlet for me to uh, practice my speaking, practice my skills, get my thoughts and my my opinions about things out there and just, um, I guess, give myself a forum to talk about things and hopefully it connects with some people. Um, it's going to connect with everybody differently, right? Because we're all different people. Some people will love it. Some people will hate it. Some people will be indifferent, and that's okay. I'm one of those people that, like, I have an opinion. My opinion may be right to others, may be wrong to others. To me, it's the right opinion. Uh, if you come up with a good case as to why I have the wrong opinion, I'm more than more than happy to listen and explore those kind of things and have, you know, um, cohesive, intelligent rational debate about things. I don't like to argue. I don't like to fight. Uh, I don't like to name call or badger or anything like that. I'm kind of a fairly low key kind of laid back kind of dude. And uh, I just like to talk about what I like to talk about. And I like to invite other people to come along for the ride. And uh, that's pretty much what I want the YouTube channel to be. In saying that, uh, what I really want to do is I want to break the channel up. And I I want to still keep it one channel, but I want to use the power of playlists to kind of divvy the channel up into multiple uh, playlists for the um, for for different filtering contexts. And as you can see here, number one is from a tech perspective. Even though I love Linux and I wish I could use Linux everywhere, um, it's just not practical for me. It's not pragmatic, so it's not going to be just Linux anymore. Don't freak out. Um, a couple of reasons behind this are my work machine. Um, I'm pretty much forced to be on Windows. I have no option in that at my current job. Uh, and I need to be able to work efficiently in Windows as well as Linux. So I want to start exploring ways to make my Windows experience um, as close to my Linux experience as possible in terms of command line tools and setting it up so that I don't have to leave the keyboard as much and getting away from the the mouse centric paradigm and more towards a keyboard centric paradigm that I'm trying to develop for myself in Linux uh, and also some of the other philosophies that Linux have like package management and um, things of that nature which I'm finding surprisingly Windows does have although they may be rudimentary in some regards, they've got some pretty cool stuff that the community has come up with to try to mirror a Linux experience that is not Linux, you know, a more Unix, POSIX kind of experience. So I'd like to explore some of those things. Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, Apple, in my opinion, from everything I've seen and from everything that I've played with, uh, makes the best and easiest syncing between devices I have ever encountered. I've tried to set up my own NextCloud. I've tried to sync between my Apple phone because I have an Apple phone from work. So the so my work gives me a phone. Uh, they pay for the phone, and it's an iPhone. I have an iPhone 8. Uh, I do not carry my own personal phone because I just, again, pragmatically, I don't want to deal with carrying around two phones. Don't want to do it. Uh, 
most of the people in my life, immediate family included, all have Apple products. They all have iPhones, iPods, something of that nature. Uh, my goddaughter has an iPad. Um, even at work, they are much more friendly towards Macintosh Apple products than they are Linux products. So with that said, um, from a technology perspective, I'm just going to make content that spans all types of tech and not just my beloved Linux or our beloved Linux. Um, at in the end of the day, I have to be pragmatic, and so does my tech. So this is going to include hardware, software, gadgets, and everything else in between. I'm just going to use what I think I should use. I'm just going to try out different things. If it's Windows, it's Windows. If it's Mac, it's Mac. If it's Apple, it's Apple. If it's Linux, then it's Linux. Again, I prefer Linux. I love Linux. I love to play with Linux. I love to learn Linux. Linux is the best overall experience I think I could have for myself and I would encourage anybody who hasn't tinkered with it to try it and if anybody's looking for recommendations I can give them recommendations or point them in a good direction I think but um, at the end of the day uh, as um, someone I know from one of the forums from one of the um, other YouTube channels that I frequent uh, Big Daddy Linux likes to say you got to use what works for you and sometimes that's not Linux, so um, that's kind of where I am with that. From a non-tech related content, uh, again, I want to do more than just tech related content, and I have many other interests beyond techs. A little scary sometimes. Uh, one of the topics I would like to explore is uh, I'd like to try exploring my faith on this channel. Uh, I'm a uh, I'm a Christian, and uh, I take that very seriously. Although I do not proclaim to be very good at it all the time, um, but it is something that I would like to explore more and give people the ability to um, just hear about it. So uh, that's one of the things I want to do with this channel. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I toy with the idea of doing doing some political content, although not your traditional political content. I'm not going to try and get on here and bash one side or the other. I have my views on things. I'm not going to go into them right now. There will be follow-up videos that will explain all that. Uh, but what I would like to do is make my cases for what I believe in a logical, thoughtful way and just let the chips fall where they may. But do it in a way that inspires rational, open debate and not... You know, the name calling, the, the the stuff that happens on the internet now when people get all mad and all twisted out of shape about stuff, right? Because uh, we should all be on that, to be honest with you. We should, as human beings, we should be able to, like, just sit down and talk out our differences. So, and I think if you make a good case for some of the things that I personally believe, um, I think you can make a good argument, a good case for them. And I think if you strip away a lot of the emotion of it, the arguments are valid, and they're at least worth talking about in a, in a rational way. So there's that. Uh, the, the aim with all of this is to use playlists to kind of make it so that the content is segregated so that people who don't want to watch the, 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 you know, the faith-based stuff, they don't have to, right? They just don't have to look at anything in that particular playlist. If they don't want to watch the political stuff, they don't have to do that. Um, I've toyed with the idea of getting into some science stuff. Uh, some stuff maybe that's a, sort of more, not super, it, it will involve some tech as I explore the world, but uh, as I explore this world, but like I'm really starting to get a little bit more into data science. It seems to be where my career might be headed in that direction, um, but it could be headed in a management direction too. So these are the kind of things I'd like to explore on my channel. And again, I will try to keep them segregated as much as possible using playlists so that it's easier to filter out and it's easy for any of you guys out there to just hone in on the content you want without having, without me having to have several different channels and without you having to hear me blather on about something that you really don't care about. Because at the end of the day, this is for me, but it's also for you. So I don't want to, you know force my thoughts on one subject into another subject area unless someone asks a specific question. So 
that's kind of long and short of it. So you're going to start seeing videos come out. Uh, the playlists will be up as I get them um, created. I can pretty much say that the first few videos are going to be tech related because I am starting to go down some roads with tech. One of the first ones I'd like to do is show some of the hardware that I have put together. I started to do some of those videos. I'd like to finish some of those videos and then show you guys the install of a Linux distro. I haven't picked the distro yet, but I have an IC dock installed on my desktop. Right now I'm on my uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. Uh, hooked up with my, um, I have a Logitech webcam, and right now I'm actually talking to you on a uh, microphone that was actually uh, recommended by um, Matt from uh, Dark One. Uh, if you've been on the internet for any length of time in the Linux community, you know who Matt, aka Dark One, is. Um, he actually did a short, a quick little review on this microphone. It's the uh, it's the Fifine, I think it's the K662. Uh, the box is around here somewhere. Anyway, I'll probably do a review on this microphone, but um, I like it a lot. It's it, He was right. It was for, for the price point, it's a $30 mic. I think it sounds really good, and I'm not ready to spend a ton of money yet on a lot of equipment. I mean, I've already dropped $600 on a brand new camera. Uh, that I plan to use for this channel. So I'm trying to keep things cost spread out a little bit more. But my old mic just wasn't cutting it. It was heavy. It was clunky. And uh, it's just, it's a great studio mic, but it's not really good for podcasting. So uh, I wanted to do a little bit of an upgrade, and this seems to be doing pretty good. So anyway, um, so I want to do a video on the uh, the install, and I finally have the right equipment to do that. I figured out how to actually pipe out my my display from boot up from my desktop into my laptop so I can actually record the boot up process and the install process on physical hardware using my capture card. Uh, it's not a capture card, it's actually like a little capture device. Much like a Magwell, but not as expensive, seems to work pretty well. So you, when I actually post those videos, you'll have to tell me how well that, that works on your end. Um, so that's coming. I also want to start doing some live streams. I might live stream some of this stuff. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't worked out all the details of this. This is just kind of like a general, this is where I want to go. So the best way to just keep track of what's going on is if you really, if you really care about uh, any of the stuff that I'm doing, then I would suggest that you just like and subscribe. You know, and I hate being that guy that always says that, but you know, like, subscribe, click the bell, you know, make sure you're getting notifications. Um, if you follow any of the Linux channels or like I'll try to put, I'm on Twitter, I'm on a couple of different things. So I'll try to uh, get my social media links out there too. And I'll, you know, drop, I'll drop some sort of early warning notices where I can, when I'm going to do a live stream just to, just in case. So anyway, I guess that's all I got for now. Um, again, I hope you guys find my content useful. If not, that's fine. You're always more than welcome to comment on any of my videos. Uh, and good or bad, I you know, constructive criticism is always welcome. I don't particularly like it when people blister other people, but if you feel like you got to blister me, go ahead, because you will find that there probably is not a person out there that has a thicker skin than me. Because at the end of the day... I'm pretty comfortable in I'm pretty comfortable with who I am and like people ripping on me really doesn't bother me all that much. So um say what you want to say, say what you got to say. If it's rational and it's constructive, even if it's even if it's n not positive, but if it's if it's a well-placed argument without a lot of like nastiness, um, that's going to go much further to getting my attention and getting me to pay attention to what you have to say than any kind of nasty kind of undertones or overtones. So with that being said, I hope you all have a great night, and uh, I will certainly see you all in the next